Close your eyes. Focus on your breath as it's coming in, as it's going out. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel it in the body. Focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if long breathing is comfortable. If it is, keep it up. If not, you can change. Make it shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Pay careful attention to what the body needs right now in terms of breath energy. Have some appreciation for this. After all, without the breath you'd be dead. It only stands to reason that because this is the force of life, if it feels good inside, it's going to be good for you. And yet we don't pay much attention to it. Put it in the back burner while we pay attention to other things. So give it some time, give it some attention. Show some appreciation for it. Today's Mother's Day. It's a good day also to show appreciation for the people who have been good to you. Number one is your mother. In Thailand, when they ordain monks, they have a chant beforehand, which we didn't have at the ordinations here. It goes over the, all the pain that the mother has gone through in raising the son, so that the son will have a sense of appreciation for all that she went through. The chant is two hours. About one hour and forty-five minutes is about her pregnancy. Yeah, think about it. You just moved right in. You wanted to be born, you assumed that they were going to take you. And they did. No questions asked, no interviews, no references, no trial periods. They took you on. Your mother took you on and she cared for you. And she gave of her blood and her flesh. And that was just before you were born, and since you were born, all the things that she did for you after that, too. So it's good to have some appreciation for that, some gratitude. The word for gratitude in Pali, katanya, means having a sense of what was done. When the Buddha is talking about karma, one of the principles he was saying is that you do have a mother and father, and the implication there is that you owe them a debt of gratitude. Because they had the choice. They could have aborted you, they could have disposed of you, but they didn't. They showed you the world. And if you don't have an appreciation for that kind of thing, how are you going to appreciate goodness? And how are you going to become a good person? Because being good requires that you go out of your way. And if you don't appreciate the way that other people have gone out of their way for you, you're very unlikely to go out of your way for other people. But when you stop and realize that the fact that you have a life today, that you are where you are today, depends on the support and help of lots of people who chose to give the help, chose to give the support. many times making a lot of sacrifices. So appreciate that. Have some gratitude for that. And then think of how you can repay. If your mother has passed away, dedicate the merit of your meditation, spread thoughts of goodwill. If she's still alive, figure out what ways you can do to help her. Make sure that she's not suffering. As the Buddha said, the best way to repay your parents is if they're stingy people, you teach them how not to be stingy. If they're not virtuous, you teach them how to be virtuous. If they don't meditate, you teach them to meditate. And of course, parents are the hardest people in the world to, to teach. But you can show them by your example. Maybe inspire them. Because that good karma then becomes their source of happiness. And at the same time, think of all the other people besides your mother whose goodness you've depended on. And make sure that that kind of goodness doesn't disappear from the world. In other words, you extend goodness, you go out of your way for other people. To show that you receive something good from your parents, you appreciate it, and you're happy to pass it on. This is how goodness stays in the world. Because without that sense of appreciation, without that sense of gratitude, goodness disappears very quickly. And life in the human realm becomes less and less of a human life, and more something of one of the lower realms. So to keep us on a human level, have gratitude for your parents, gratitude for all the people who have done good to you, and then do good for others. You have received what's called their benefaction. So pass that benefaction on. <laughs>